this is the official announcement. We are back in contest prep mode. It's been since 2013, since I've been in contest prep. So it's been a very long off season, but most people, if you're familiar with natural bodybuilding, it's all about just time and patience. And so a lot of people have asked why I've taken so long away from competing and the stage and all that stuff. And I've always said, it's just it just takes time. It takes so much time to put muscle on naturally. And it's a totally different ball game when you go from uh, an amateur level type natural show compared to a pro lineup. Anybody who's been to like a, um, a natural pro show will be the first to, to tell you that it's like a whole different level. And especially just muscularity, how much more muscle these guys have. And so I just wanted to take a few years off to make sure that when I was ready to compete again, I at least hopefully have enough muscle now to be able to be competitive in a pro lineup. So the other big announcement to this is I'm hiring a very, very, very popular <laughs> uh, prep coach in the natural bodybuilding uh, arena. Most people um, in the natural area or arena, whatever, are familiar with him. His name is Cliff Wilson, Team Wilson. Uh, and the reason why I'm going this route is just because I feel like over the past few years, I've really kind of followed Cliff. I've listened to like a lot of his uh, podcasts that he's done. And I just felt like listening to him, I just really felt like everything kind of clicked with his whole philosophy on nutrition and training. And another thing that's really appealing to me is he does, some of you guys might be familiar with this, some might not, but he does a very different kind of peaking style that I've done before. He does a, it's like a rapid uh, carb backload, which is a totally different approach to peak or peak week that I've ever done. So. I just kind of wanted just to try something new and see if maybe this is something that I might respond better to. I kind of still feel like I haven't maybe peaked on show day to like my 100% yet. I feel like I've kind of gotten maybe close, but I've never really felt like I've peaked 100%. So that's kind of another reason is kind of, you know, trying different things. And so, um, I know, and obviously too, the main thing about Cliff though is we have the same um, you know, main principles as far as, you know, flexible dieting, you know, he's giving me uh, macro amounts and I'm the one that's being flexible with my food choices. So all of that stays the same. So nothing on that is any different. It's just probably going to be a little bit different uh, peaking protocol. And then that's pretty much going to be a, kind of compared to what you guys have seen in the past. And I've also always done my own training in my past contest preps, but Cliff did write me up, um, a program, a workout program that I am following. So my goal with these contest prep videos, this whole series, is I tried to bring you guys a lot of you know content during my last prep, but I felt like this contest prep, I'm gonna try to take it a little step, you know, kind of up my game and um, put out some, just some more, maybe some more informational videos, kind of like I plan on maybe getting like a whiteboard and kind of writing all of my macros down for you guys and kind of showing you like exactly how much weight I'm losing per week and what adjustments we're making. Um, just kind of give you guys a little bit more just data on the whole entire process. Um, you know, as well as, you know, the constant kind of vlogs. I'll do these a lot, just updating you guys on, you know, my current weight, how things are going, how I'm feeling. Um, I will say another thing is too, my last two contest preps, I've done 24 weeks out. This one is, I think, officially at least 30 weeks out. So I'm going to be dieting for an extra six weeks out. And the reason why I'm doing that is just to hopefully um, reach a different, like, kind of like reach a whole new level of conditioning that I've had in the past. I've always felt like my last show, especially, like, you know, that was really, that was good enough to get, you know, a natural pro card. But it's like now, like, in a pro show, you know, everybody's gonna come in really, really, you know, really, really shredded. So I need to kind of go above and beyond and try to reach maybe, a, you know, a new level of conditioning that I've never seen before. So that is kind of the whole, you know, plan as far as giving myself a little bit extra time to get even leaner. And then again, too, you just think about the slower you can do a prep and natural bodybuilding, hopefully the more muscle that you can maintain 
um, in the process. So anyways guys, again, this is just, this is gonna be kind of like an announcement video. I might add on some more things to it. I'm actually on the way to Costco right now to pick up a few uh, contest prep food essentials. So I might give you guys a little uh, sneak peek of that, but pretty much guys, it's kind of, again, this is gonna be a whole entire prep series documenting all of my prep workouts, cardio, nutrition, everything. So stay tuned. First two things, mushrooms, good volume fillers, and strawberries because they're only seven carbs per 100 grams. All right, next up, eggs. Can't beat that price for a five dozen. So far we're at strawberries, mushrooms, almond milk, eggs, and gotta have coffee. So these are the things that we got so far. Probably gonna pick up a few more things and uh, I'll show you those when we get it. Probably can't zoom in on this, but there's a reason why we're going with this certain bread because per slice it's going to be lower in carbohydrates and it's going to have low fat and it's going to have more fiber than some of the other brands. So that's the reason why I'm going with this particular bread. Uh, once we get deeper into contest prep, I'll probably switch to like even lower carb bread. But for now, this was the best option. All right, guys, look at these Greek pita flatbreads. One thing that you could do with these is. Um, Put a little bit of pizza sauce on it, low fat cheese, chicken, olives, mushrooms, things like that, and uh, make little mini pizzas. So, thinking about adding these, not sure yet. Actually, a really cheap price. Again, this was just kind of a small run at Costco. Again, it's just I feel like if you're in contest prep, always just kind of a few essentials that you needed and so that's what this kind of trip was again the strawberries the main reason why I'm getting those is again because they're only seven um, carbohydrates per 100 grams you compare that to like a banana where a banana is like 23 carbs per 100 grams so I will not be eating bananas for this whole entire contest prep um, there's a few other few choices I might do it for the most part honestly just gonna be strawberries maybe some blueberries things like that um, the almond milk Honestly, it's the best thing that you can do for like cereals, you know, protein shakes, stuff like that, because it's only literally, I think it's two and a half fat, one carb, you know, 30, 30 calories per cup. So basically you're not using any macros on the almond milk. And then again, eggs, irreplaceable. Um, usually every morning I have a couple whole eggs, a couple egg whites, and then the mushrooms are just gonna be another great, another great filler to add in like, you know, uh, if you wanna do pastas, if you wanna do, um, salads things like that and then the bread again the reason why I chose that bread was again just because if you look at per slice I take into account the fat per slice how many carbs per slice how much fiber how much protein and then in the end they get the cost too so um, that's why I chose like that bread so there's a reasoning behind every single food choice that I chose today so just a little bit of educational information if you're dieting there's always certain foods that you can switch out for other foods that are more I call um, you know macro friendly if you're dieting did you really get it um salad, add in like mushrooms, maybe some low fat cheese, and a low calorie dressing. Nice. Oh, there it is. You have it on? It's good? Alright guys. Not yet. <laughs> Arctic Zero will be coming soon, but not yet. Macros are not low enough yet for Arctic Zero. Actually, a lot of people don't realize that uh, Dryer's Slow and Churn actually has really, really good macros. Uh, per serving on this is only one and a half fat, 19 carb, two protein. So if your macros are still fairly high, this would be a much better option, especially since you're going to get a lot more. Um, you get 12 servings, Arctic Zero, you're only going to get 4 servings, and this is cheaper. So, until your macros get really low, I would stick with this type of 
lower back row ice cream. I already have some of these at home, but skinny cows are always going to be a great option, especially when dieting because per sandwich, you're looking at only two fat, 29 carb, and four protein. So always a great uh, low fat, moderate carb type um, sweet and tooth tax skinny cow products. Uh, salad dressing. The reason why, I got a fat-free version. This is only 15 calories per serving. Zero fat, three carbs, uh, zero protein. So just really, really good. Like I said, I'm gonna make some salads with like low-fat cheese, mushrooms, dressing. Good to go. Contest prep always means rice cakes. Why? Because there's like no fat, pretty low carbs. They're just easy carb source to eat. So I two bags of these. There'll be a lot more of those that All right, popcorn, another low fat uh, option. Pretty moderate on carbs. But again, just a great another thing you can throw in the microwave, easy convenience, lower fat, good snack. We're having some of these because they're calorie free, so just another half size, just water. Alright guys, just picking up some Greek yogurts. These are uh, zero fat, only nine carbs, and 12 protein uh, per container. So I uh, got the pumpkin pie one. I love pumpkin pie. And I got uh, toasted coconut vanilla. These are both like really, really good flavors. So get some of these. These are just easy little uh, macro fillers to add into your daily macros. Sweet tooth helps with that. It's just uh, pretty much like a really, to me, like light grocery run as far as contest prep. I'd already had um, like chicken breast and I have whey protein already. I have, I stocked up on more yogurt. Um, I had stocked up on skinny cows, um, diet soda. Um, so that wasn't kind of like a full contest prep grocery run, but I kind of want to show you guys just some of the essential type things that you're probably gonna see almost consistently, you know, those are foods and things like that that I'm pretty much gonna get week in, week out, and go through a lot of during the course of this contest prep. Um, so just give a little heads up on that. Um, also too, like I said, I'm, I'm planning on getting, uh, I wanna get like a whiteboard, and I wanna kinda show you guys, again, kinda like what my macros are week to week. And as of right now, I'm starting at, with Cliff, um, 275 protein, 410 carbohydrates, and 70 fat are my starting macros right now. And then I also have a weekly refeed of, I believe it's 240, my protein drops down a little bit to I think 240, my carbs go up to 570 grams, and my fat is 72 grams. So I'll have one weekly refeed too with a lot more carbohydrate, well, not a lot more, but a good amount more of carbohydrates. So those are days where I could probably be a little bit more uh, flexible with certain uh, food choices and things like that. But one thing I wanna, I kinda wanna stress with the whole flexible dieting thing, I feel like if you're a serious competitor and you're utilizing flexible dieting, you're gonna see a lot more kind of just your basic uh, chicken and rice type, you know, your typical kind of bodybuilding whole food type meals, that really is gonna consist of a good, you know, 80 to 90% of my meals, just because, again, there's so much more healthier, nutritious, you know, dense, you're gonna feel fuller, longer type meals. So, if you're in a contest prep, you wanna think about your performance, and how you're gonna have the most energy, you're gonna feel the best, and honestly, you're gonna feel the best eating more healthier, nutritious foods. So that's why you're gonna see me eating more of that. Whereas a lot of people though, still to this day, when they think about flexible dieting or if it fits your macros, all they wanna say is it's an excuse to eat junk. So I kinda wanna show you that this is not like, you know, eating junk all the time. Yes, you're gonna see me probably fill in, you know, some certain ice cream, you know, lower fat ice creams and things like that. But for the most part, it's gonna be your basic eggs and chicken and potatoes and rice and all that stuff. So I just kinda wanted to finish this little clip on that note.